I was sitting in the living room hanging out with my family and I was watching something on TV. I don't even remember what it's unimportant. My wife was sitting in the chair next to me. Uh, and all of a sudden I hear what in the F <laughs> and I look up and I'm like, what, what's going on? What's wrong? She's looking at my daughter's tablet. My daughter has uh, we, our kids have the little Kindle, um, Amazon Kindle kids tablets. They're like tablets that are, they only have like kids apps and games and stuff on them. And uh, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, look at what they put on Dagny's tablet. And I'm going to show you what I saw. because I took pictures. And if you can't see this, let me try and make it bigger. So this is just a picture of the tablet, you know, sitting on the carpet, but I'm going to zoom in. So that you can see. This is my five-year-old's tablet. Now, I want to be clear because there's nothing, I want to be very clear with what I have a problem with and what I do not have a problem with. I do not have a problem with people showing books that have inspirational stories in them about people that, you know, fought for what's right and succeeded. I have a problem with a company espousing a political narrative to my five-year-olds on a device that I trust them. <laughs> There's a certain level of trust. Look, and I know a lot of people are being like, you're naive as, as fuck if you're trusting one of these large companies to, uh, to protect your kids from this. or it, That's not even the right way of saying it. To not expose your kid to this. These companies have an agenda and they're exposing your children to it and I just wanted to show you this. Like, we're, we're active parents. We watch the media that our kids watch. We monitor what's going on to make sure that this isn't happening. And for the most part, we protect them from almost all of it. But I wanted to show you that this was going on. This is uh, Books That Inspire Change. Mm. And, you know, some of the books... Well, let, let's go the other way. So some of these books are actually cool books. There's a National Geographic book on Rosa Parks. That's a really cool story. Uh, now, that story could be told in a way that accentuates um, racial divides, uh, in a way that talks about racial divides that still exist today and you know goes on the SJW Marxist sort of diatribe, or it could be told as sort of the heroic tale uh, of a woman who, who did what I told you in the beginning of the show, was like, you want freedom? You take it. Well, this woman did that. She took it. That's an awesome story. And I'm perfectly happy and pleased that, you know, you might suggest a story like that to my kids. Um, but if you look at this list, and there's like three screenshots here, we have a book on Barack Obama. And I looked this book up, and one of the reviews on the book says that it's just straight up indoctrination. And we have a book by... Uh, look, Obama, I don't, I don't care what your politics are. He was uh, a trained Marxist that was um, in with Farrakhan. Like, they're, they're, I mean, yeah, sure, you could craft a story for kids that didn't talk about any of that stuff and, you know, only accentuated how a kid ended up being president. And that's just assuming that you're a normie statist who thinks that's a story worth telling your kids. Uh, but that that's does not appear at least from the comments to be the case for this book also are, are you noticing anything in common about uh, these books and here's the next page we have hidden figures this is a a, a book that has some comments that seems to um, imply that it's something that I might not necessarily want to be unfiltered into my kids brains there's also some really interesting and cool stuff um, this book about Martin Luther King, dude, Martin Luther King was a badass in a lot of ways. And, and he taught me and uh, a lot of people a lot about peaceful activism that actually inspires people to change. So, like, I want to be clear, like, the problem I have is not that they're telling historical stories that are important for us to know about to children. The problem is that there is a very clear fucking narrative 
to the images that I'm showing you and to the books that they chose. And if you think I'm being a conspiracy theorist, I just searched the name. Amazon, Kindle Kids, uh, Books That Inspire Change, just to see if there's any more information on this out there about it. And I found this little article. Sierra Wilson is an editor for Amazon's book club, and she's writing this type of stuff. So we have people collecting books for the purposes of having your kids exposed to them. Let's just read a little bit of this. Books for kids to celebrate diversity and inspire change. The global call for action following the death of George Floyd has turned our collective attention to the tragedy of institutionalized racism and the need for real and lasting change. For our children, this is a time to educate and give guidance on inclusion, equality, and how every one of us can make a difference. There are many wonderful books for kids and young adults that celebrate diversity or invite conversation about race. Below are some of the titles we recommend on this extremely important topic. All are welcome. Uh, school is a safe space where everybody's welcome. Diversity is something to celebrate. Uh, kids of different races and cultures shown playing together. Blah, blah, blah. This book is anti-racist. 20 lessons on how to wake up, take action, and do the work. Ages 10 to 17. The Youngest Marcher. This is a book for age 5 to 10. They'll discover in this remarkable picture book biography of Audrey Faye Hendricks and the Civil Rights Movement. Blah, blah, blah. Anti-racist baby. For ages 0 to 3. Anti-Racist Baby couldn't be more timely. The National Book Award-winning author of Stamped from the Beginning and How to Be an Anti-Racist uh, has teamed up with illustrator Ashley to create a bright, bold bo uh, board book of nine steps that are key to a future in which everyone is equal. Okay. So, the point is, don't trust any of these companies. And I know most of you are like looking at your screen right now being like, oh God, Patrick, you trusted these companies. Um, no, <laughs> I didn't. That's why we watch. That's why my wife looks and sees and caught it. I'm just letting you know, in case you're one of the people that thinks even your little kids, your little five-year-old children with their Amazon Kindle kids tablets are safe from being preached to and fed a political narrative. If you think they're safe, you are sorely mistaken. Sorely mistaken. 